Thanks for joining us today at LFG. We're going to be casting an NGS stream, the Nexus Gaming series. It's Heroes of the Storm. We are joining this game already in the draft. On our left side, we have uh, Psy Storm, and on our right side, we have the Bloodfin Murgles. Um, Blood Psy Storm won the coin flip, and they picked Tomb of the Spider. Or they picked first pick and. Bloodfin Murgles pick Tomb of the Spider Queen. So here we have our draft. For the Nexus. Interesting start to the draft for Bloodfin Murgles. Orphea with the uh, changes in the last patch. Uh, we'll have to see what they choose for the build. Um, there were changes to her auto attack talent oh, on one, like um, as well as the removal of Fright, which synergized with that. So we'll see if they try to go for a more chomp focused build because it does seem a lot harder these days with that change to uh, really build up any kind of um, uh, e-build. All right, we see Johanna, obviously a map ban here. Ariel banned by Bloodfin Murgles for being broken right now. No Deathwing ban in the first ban rounds. I think that signifies neither one of these teams probably plays Deathwing, so... We got a mouth ale pick on Psy Storm. We'll see if we can get some double soak. Run it down bottom. It'll be interesting to see what um, Budfin Murgles chooses to go with on their off lane uh, to try and counter that mouth ale. Um, we might see um, a thrall, maybe. Just some uh, lower health bruiser type to uh, negate that uh, health uh, damage that mouth ale does. Yeah, low health, high sustain to compensate for the percentage damage. I wonder if we're going to get to see the uh, mosh pit unending feast combination. What's <coughs> Orpheus? Yeah. It's, it's, it's called unending feast? Yeah. Cool. You got to watch out for Lili. We've got the Lili ban. <laughs> Uh, that's that's to help against Zoldin maybe yeah. for yeah. um for blinds. Yeah, blinds can really shut down an auto attack hero like Zoldin. And they knew they were going into oh, Zoldin. You see bad. that from their uh, early or early ban of Johanna. And uh, Psy Storm, I believe, likes to. They're still looking for a healer. I think they like to pick up uh, Alex Draza a lot. I've seen. I think they've played some Lucios. Um, I didn't see that. I saw uh, Deckard one or two times. A little Deckard times. and uh, maybe some White Mane. Ready for action. There's there he is, the Deckard. Oh, it begins. We'll see what the Bloodfin Murgles have to answer that. I saw they picked up the Cassia to get at least one blind against this Zoljin. Looks like they're looking, looking for an for off laner here. Yeah. So again, it's tricky. You don't want to take another tanky off laner into mouth ale. But again, ETC is a little squishy for a solo tank. So. And it's the orc. The orc with his own life steal can maybe do some percentage damage back to mouth ale here. They're very comfortable with the Leoric. Um, Terminator does like to go for those uh, flank and tomb plays. There's some pretty uh, tight spots in Tomb of the Spider Queen, so that in Tomb may pay off.
series and check out some of the other casters they play in some of these games here Looks like we're going to have everybody down the middle. Perhaps Mouth L takes the off lane immediately. We'll see. In ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Kill. Seems Leork and Mouth L both headed down. Deckard rotate, give Mouth L a few potions. Here the first wave, Bloodfin Murgles. Rotate to the top. Berserk zoning on the left side of this turn in point here. Trying to prevent them from coming in. Perhaps to slow down their rotation. Seems like Psystorm got the quicker rotation this second time around here. Let's take a look at our side lane here. We seem to be eating each other's life sustaining pretty well on their own Jane with a quick clear with her blizzard enabling them to rotate a little quicker Really just classic uh, tomb play here, just uh, rotating around your opponent, avoiding fights for the time being, trying to get to 10. Uh, just don't lose your gems in the name of the game. Yep. We saw Deckard pick up the ruby, which has recently been pointed out to apparently leave small potions that are nearly as powerful as his larger potions. We're looking at a five-man rotate on the orc down here with the stun from Murden, and that's the first kill of the game. Let's see if um, Bloodfin Murgles can uh, make anything happen top with the long rotation back. Deckard's starting to go up there first. Looks like all they're going to get is a little more, a little quicker soak. I don't believe Psystorm's going to lose any of that soak there, so. Psystorm also takes that camp down at the bottom of the Siege Giants. Yep. That'll help Mouth L put in, push in here a little bit. Perhaps take a tower, maybe the gate. However, Bloodfin Murgles are rotating down to answer that. Yeah, quick response there. Let's see if Psystorm thought maybe they would crash this and Fucking would miss out on some of this experience, but they made it up in time to catch some of that. We've got a turn in are going in for the a turn bottom. In. They are closer to the turn in, however, Sidestorm already has all the gems they need, so we'll see if they hang on to them. Mouth L. Collecting the camp for the first time. Give them a little mid pressure. Could give them that opening they need to make this first turn in.
we do see Orphea moving into the uh, the e build there, and did take uh, the ancestral strength on one. So uh, interesting that uh, those two talents stayed the same. We'll see how it works out more. It looks like Sidestorm is trying to get some of their gems turned in here. We still need eight more. If Snorlax can manage to make it in. Or Valyria or Zeno and they're all can get this turn in. Well, they each need one more, but Snorlax will get the turn in. However, Bloodfin Murgle will sneak it in first. Looks like uh gonna try to pressure top. And I believe Sidestorm's gonna let mid go and try to stop this top web weaver first. This first set of web weavers, not the toughest web weavers in the game, but Malthale pushed in a little bit there bottom. It looks like the bottom web weaver might get a little bit extra value. Yeah, and I see Cassio trying to push this in mid too. So as the top one falls, let's get to rotate from top to mid. Let's see if we can put some pressure on this wall. Well, that's, the, that's the wall. And the wall down at bottom is gone too. That should be it for this web weaver phase. The end of the web weaver phase. Looks like the uh, bottom one did right before it died. Took out the uh, well down at bottom. That's uh, a good win for the bottom uh, off lane. Murgles retreat to their wall. And it looks like Sidestorm's going for a four man rotate bottom. Deckard's already down in the camp trying to take this by himself. The mouth L and. Oh, Jane was down there helping also. This looks like it's going to be the turn for the side storm. Their counter push. See if they get more than two walls. Bit of a heavy rotation down to the bottom here. Orphea catching up. Yeah, it looks like we're going for a four man defend on the bottom. Maybe clear that out and then head up. Wonder if they were looking for a pick that they couldn't get there. Uh, Sidestorm wisely backed off in time, so. Might have been more of a try and um, keep their advantage on bottom so that uh, yeah. their offlaner could um, maybe still have their tap. Yep, it looks like Terminator's clearing that one up, and it looks like Sidestorm is going to focus top lane a little bit here. Pushing past the Web Weaver for a little bit of a fight to try to keep the hero damage off the structures but it looks like mids taking probably both towers here we're looking at that fountain too yeah that fountain's probably going to go down with the minion cell phone yeah but now sidestorm's looking at a five-man rotate seems like this mouth ale's working out pretty good Against this Leoric pick. Destroy the constructs. We got a uh, bruiser pickup going on for Bloodfin. We're over here. We'll see if the, um, the Sidestorm Storm gets a chance to turn in. They're looking at already an entire turn is worth of spider gems. So They might wait until they are able to uh, get their own bruisers. It looks yeah, like that's what Mouth Hill's doing right now. That in tune we were talking about. This on the sustain, but stuns. As Dingo goes out to save Zorgin. And he's gonna walk away from that. Impressive, and they may just turn this around here. Looking at a, uh, uh, just looks like they're just gonna clear the wave out. Disengage and reset. As uh, Bloodfin tries to get rid of their gems. Side Storm picking up their 13s. 
and Bloodfin gets a turn in. All right. Orphan may be caught out here. Oh, uh, missed the stun from uh, Murden there. Uh, her team Lucky comes that, in there. That would have been uh, a bad time to get picked. Yep. Mouthel still bottom lane. Clearing it up. Five man rotation for us in here. Looks like they're hungry for a fort. Focus on top here. Try and just prime it for a uh, boss play later if they get the opportunity. Yep. They also have uh, some things to even out up there. Is that was a um, heavy focus for side for in the last of the phase. A lot of trouble here, and Tuljin goes down. But, um, First kill for Bloodfin. Has Dingo looks like it had just come off cooldown. Even with the fort, the five v four pays off with a three for two tree, three for one tree. Mouthill ended up clearing down the mid one, and it looks like we're rotating on him. They may just take the bottom fort also on the way out. That was a pretty productive web weaver phase for the Bloodfin Murgles. Now they're gonna grab that fort real quick. Yeah, they, uh, they're gonna go straight to this bottom bruiser. I mean, giants. And now, uh, Psystorm no longer has enough gems to turn in again. Pretty close. They need what nine, I think. No, they have it right now. There go. So we'll look to oh. see if uh, Cassie can uh, delay long enough for the rest of the team. Looks like she can. Now they have most of their gems concentrated on two heroes, so Elixir and Snorlax need to make sure they stay alive here. Mouthail is going to rotate bottom to clear up this push they have going from that giant capture. And looks like we're going to brawl mid a little bit. Bloodfin may chase under this downed fort. Looks like they are gonna just hold their ground back. Here. Really, just a bit of a waiting game. Uh, Psystorm's down a talent, so we'll, uh, they'll try to just soak this. And there it goes, 16. So there's that in tomb on Jaina. Yeah, a lot of battle, a three -man uh, value on that Eternal Feast. And yeah, that's uh, they get the one counter pick on ETC, but the one positive that really came out of that was. Um, that last right to come down on the city. It will retreat without their tank. Again, Sidestorm has enough for a turn in. We're looking at the Bruiser camp. But, I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> Maybe that. not enough health. No. Althel has almost the entire turn in by himself. And Sidestorm looks like they're checking the boss. I think they thought Bloodfin was going to retreat and take that boss. March it. Looks like they're checking their bruisers. I'm going to pick these up now that they saw Bloodfin was taking theirs. Bloodfin trying to uh, warden delay his top warden turn top. in. Warden top. Cassius guarding the bottom. Bloodfin's pretty close to their turn in too, so... See if Psystorm can use the pressure from this camp to get their turn in. As the Murgles go to clear. They attempt to turn up top. But they had it, so. They have a few catapults pushing in bottom right now. Let's see if Psystorm has to respond to that. Looks like Bloodfin's gonna get their turn in. Sidestorm's gonna five man rotate bottom, clear out that wave, get the experience. I think they're watching out for that mosh pit. Yeah, we're gonna see a so focus on top here for Bloodfin. 
once again, it's all about getting ready for that boss play. Um, we're getting to death timers where they're long enough so that you can uh, one one or two picks and go straight over to that boss. So the less things it has in the way, the better. As long as they hold them top, bottom and they are going to push themselves. They can slide past this wall. Okay. Good. Bring them across. Penalty still going. That last rights didn't get a ton of value. Oh, Murden just, Murden just stuck down. there. There's another powerful entomb right there. The chain it goes down. Just a difficult to deal with combo, the entomb with the, uh, the bomb there from Anduin. Absolutely. But the keep down, it looks like they're moving on to the core. Yeah, two people down. You still have uh, 30 seconds until Murden comes back up. Plus, they're pushing it for level 20 here, so they may just stick this one out. Yeah, they've got the it time here. It looks like they're pushing for it, and they're going to take it. Good zoning from ETC. They, they're not oh. getting out of there. And that looks like it. Yeah, Game not one. Be on I'll call it. Going to Bloodfin Murder. All right. Our first game. Good game from Bloodfin and from Storm. Yeah, some good back and forth there in the beginning. Um, you saw once Bloodfin got a couple turn-ins back to back that they were able to really um, snowball their advantage there. Um, played uh, fairly safe after after that point. You know, guarding your turn-ins, backing off when they needed to. Um, we did get uh, looks like some a lot of good damage out from both Zoljin and Orphea on the, each side. Yeah. Um, um, and I think Orphea, um, with that change to her level one, um, was still able to be impactful, uh, just focusing on keeping the pick target slowed so that everyone could just pile on damage after that. Yep. All right, so that was our game one. We're going to head back to the... Draft screen here in a second. So uh, remember if, uh, to uh, visit the NexusGamingSeries.org. You can keep up with all your favorite teams and learn which games will be casted. You can also check out their Patreon to keep the league going. Uh, also, if you're ever in Pittsburgh or if you're from the Western PA area, come check out Looking for Group. We're a land center in the Brookline neighborhood. Got all sorts of uh, games, computers, and um, good community here. Um, I think we'll be going back to our uh, waiting screen here while we get the next game situated. <laughs> 